love you so deeply I can no longer bear to watch you fade away. I hope one day you'll come back. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I uh, started off the morning with some micro five trying to figure out how to do a uh, proper fairing and it's really creamy stuff. I've still got some things to learn here because, uh, yeah. Luckily, tomorrow uh, Chris is coming out here. He's gonna help us out, show us a few more things. And uh, I think in the island area, he's what would be considered a fiberglassing expert. So um, we'll get some info from him because, yeah, I feel like I gotta do a much better job cleaning it. I wiped it down, but I just didn't cut it. So I wanna get back to some other jobs. Passed out from the pills You come home different every night And it's... Well, today's been a little bit more of a struggle so far. Uh, Marius really, really struggled with those shelves a little bit here and there. Oh, yeah. And, uh, well, we won't even talk about my terrible fairing job. But, you know, some days are for learning, some days are for doing. <laughs> so we're heading into town this afternoon to go pick up another member of the crew to help us out. His name is Luke and he's from the UK. I'm excited to map him out and also to uh, get a couple more things in town today in Nanaimo. So we'll take you along this time because usually I don't take you guys along, but you know, we got a special thing going, so I'll take you this time. All right, all right, we just got rid of. Hi, hello. All right, we just got rid of the uh, wood stove for burn. There, champ, you can't come in. Champ, come here. Champ, no, come on. What are you doing? Get over here. You gotta go back inside. So anyways, after some work, first stop is Midland Tools. Marius has a big of a hard on for tools right now. So much more stuff. You're looking at building a tiny home, a boat, a geodesic dome, greenhouse, all kinds of things out of Norway, so... Oh, you think maybe Canadians got better prices on tools? What do you think so far? Uh, I think so. I don't, it's I'm hard really to tell. Sure about the conversion rates. Yeah. So, okay. Certainly sure about the selection. My mouth or something. Come back home. Okay, buddy, come on. All right, so we didn't spend too much money on tools because usually, yeah, I know, that's very exciting. But usually I like to uh, try and find my tools used. It just helps along the budget and generally speaking, I'm gonna bang them up pretty good myself, so might as well get them pre-scratched. We did buy something new that I couldn't find used and it's not at a decent price. It is a... Uh, Wet dry vac, a real proper wet dry vac. I have this little shop vac um, that runs on the 20 volt system and it's fantastic and it's been so useful, but um, when I'm working down in the bilges and I wanna like rinse stuff out and run water and vacuum it back out and get it totally bone dry, I need a proper wet dry vac. So this guy was nice and cheap, nice and powerful and I've got all the power I need to run it. So yes, I know champ, you're so loud. Why are you so loud? What do you have to be so loud about? Oh, screw up McGuff, huh? Jeez. So Luke, what do you think? What do I think? Yeah, what do you think? I'm, li I'm, I'm liking it. I mean, I don't know. I don't know about the three of us, the dog, and our bag, and the beer. All in, <laughs> <laughs> all in the dinghy. Marius has gotten really proficient. It's like loading up the dinghy already. As soon as they get here. So proactive. He's like a real proper member of crew here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we might not have to do a trip. Yeah, yeah. 
Let's um, let's just take your bag and yeah. I'll take this thing on board and then I'll row over and pick up the Kodiak and the, and the trolling. <coughs> and I, I'll do another run. Okay. <coughs> hey man, hey man. Wanna grab? my weight. I'm gonna stand right here. There we go, now we're floating. Row! Row! row. <laughs> Marius, row! This is not easy. Uh. Gone. You look like you're, uh, you're posing for like a grad photo with your date. Uh, wow. This is uh, coming out of this, 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 is this is Stanley, <laughs> your, your, your homeboy. He's so not sponsored. Although Stanley, get at me. Come on, I need some stuff. I need boat to build. <laughs> and chief, if I push her any further, the whole thing could blow. Oh, look at this thing. Alright, as much as I enjoyed Marius's rowing, uh, we've switched it out for the uh, 62 motor here, the Kodiak down below and a way overcrowded dinghy <laughs> and we're making our way over to campfire island for a little bit of dinner sweet, sweet. Look at she's, she's tearing it up i'm pulling you along <laughs> dang oh you right you're right chen all right Norwegian's first cedar. Caesar. Caesar. Give it a shot. He's like, I don't know, ketchup? Ketchup? Yeah. It does not taste like ketchup. Okay, give it a shake a little bit. Ketchup. <laughs> yeah, it's like ketchup. Oh, that's awful. Like, uh, <laughs> what an awful bad sauce. Norwegian ketchup. <laughs> we probably got it from you. Because Canadians get all their bad ideas from the Brits. There's <laughs> Worcestershire sauce in there. Oh, no. Nice. Yeah. That's British. <laughs> Do you keep a straight face with that? That's disgusting. <laughs> that, <laughs> that does not taste like ketchup. <laughs> oh, so good. Well, I, uh, a friend of mine, he's up. He did, uh, there's a family. <laughs> First up, Luke is doing some epoxy rolling to seal up the underside of the uh, cabin roof. Good stuff. Chris and Marius are out here peeling off windows in many, many pieces. Oh man. Champ is busy supervising. Did I catch you sleeping on the job? Oh, I did, didn't I? And I'm down here vacuuming out the bilge, cleaning it out, getting it ready for the shower compartment. It stinks.
freaking guy right here. Look at these pants. Sanding pro. <laughs> what can you say? Oh, all right, well, it's been a very, very productive day. Have all four of us here heading over using uh, Chris's boat. We're gonna go check out Valdez and show these guys a little bit of one of the other islands. It's right over here, it's not far, but yeah. I feel really good with the amount of stuff we got done. These decks look totally different. So much sanding, so much epoxy, so much patching got done today. So much filleting by this guy. Woo. The entire cabin roof is pretty much done today. Oh uh, yeah, lots and lots of stuff. I also did some stuff, mostly in the bilges. It was gross. I smell gross, <laughs> feel gross. How's that, uh, uh, how's that fiberglass nice. feel? <laughs> like, they love me. <laughs> Wants to cover me and hug me all the time. <laughs> to be fair, he was just sanding paint dust very mainly. Hardly touched any fiberglass at all, you big whiner. <laughs> I can't believe people like want to send him treats and uh, toys all the time. Like, look how happy he is with this stick. Who needs a toy when you got stick? Crazy man. <laughs> Alright, you ready? You dive right off here? Yeah. Alright, go for it. Remember, it's not deep. Ah, it's nice, it's warm. Yeah, it looks like you're it looks like you're really enjoying yourself. <laughs> Any regrets? Don't film my penis, it's cold. <laughs> Oh, don't film me now. <laughs> <laughs> Not too spicy. After a good hearty dinner and uh, a long day of work, we got a lot of stuff done. I'm really terrible at filming us actually working, um, but hopefully that was okay. Hopefully it was all right. Um, I'm eating goldfish. You're still eating. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you still eating? <laughs> all right, well, whatever. Eat as much as he wants. We're gonna uh, eat some junk food and watch a movie and start this whole shebang tomorrow. So, see you tomorrow.